Hey, welcome to Mark's Garage Channel. This is Missy. This is my 47 GMC. I've been working on this for over a year. If you want to see where, how far I've come with it, go check out my old videos and please like and subscribe. Okay, back on the 47. I'm getting really impatient because I'm waiting for the new gauge to show up. I have an old one I can put in, but uh, I just don't want to do it. I bought a new old stock. It's due today, probably tomorrow. Um, but in the meantime, I think I'm going to go back after the windshield. I'm going to take a shot at it. I got a new gasket. I got it laid out here, letting the rubber kind of just get acclimated before I try to put the glass and the trim back into it. And also, this is the carburetor for my son's motorcycle. I'm going to set that in the, some uh, dip tank to uh, clean out. Maybe I can get him motivated to restart that when he's home from school. All right, I took a shot at getting that windshield in that rubber gasket. <laughs> I couldn't do it, so I don't have the hand strength anymore for that sort of thing or the patience. So I called uh, a local auto glass place, asked them if they had the experience to do it. They said they'll come out and take a look at it tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. In the meantime, what I think I'm going to do is finish the patina around the windshield, maybe into the roof and the doors while I'm at it. Just to get it done, and then I don't have to worry about doing the linseed oil around the new stuff. So I'll take care of that today. So now I'm just applying the uh, linseed oil around the, uh, you know, the intent was just to do around the, the windshield before the windshield guy got here. And, uh, Now I'm just going to end up doing the whole whatever's left of the truck, which is the doors and the uh, top of the cab. I did the back of the cab when uh, I had the bed off. But uh, I got to still say, I'm a, I'm a little embarrassed I had to call somebody to come and do the windshield. I watched a bunch of videos on it. It looked like something I can handle, but honestly, I can't even get the glass into the uh into the rubber frame it was that difficult for me so i just gave up and i, I don't know what this is going to cost me they said they're going to come and look at it and give me a price so that's never in my mind good news but we'll see what tomorrow brings they were like yeah we'll be there tomorrow I'm like hey all right maybe i can learn something from watching them you know not that I can imagine doing another truck, but you never know. My thing is, I don't think I'll ever finish this truck. 100%. But, this is going to take a while. I won't bore you with it. So there's a good place to end this video. I got the patina, or the linseed oil on top of the patina. Windshield's ready to be installed. And the mailman just showed up with my new old stock ammeter, which I'm going to put in. So I'm going to get started on that. I'll save that video for tomorrow along with the uh, windshield guy. Hopefully shows up and is able to put my windshield in. So thanks for watching.